everyone, welcome to So Fit So Fab. This is a health and fitness segment of Simply Sophie's Beauty Essentials and Sophie Soaps and Such. I am your mixtures maven, Sophia. Today I am whipping up a batch of fat burning green smoothie. I like to call Sophie's Kicking Mean Green Juice. You guys stay tuned, I'll be right back with the recipe. Now, first off, before I get too involved in this recipe, I just want to let you know that I will be using my Nutribullet blender. Yay, I love my Nutribullet blender. And I will be using the large cup with two blades. I'm using the chopping blade, what I call the chopping blade, because it has the four blades. And then I am using what I would call the refining blade here. So to get some of the pulp um, pulverized a little bit more. So I'm using that. Now for the base of this recipe, I will be using this fat burning tea that I got from my health food store. Well, actually I got it from an international market. Uh, the unfortunate thing is that the ingredients is uh, list is in Spanish and I don't read or write Spanish so I can't tell you all what's in it but I did go to compare foods and I picked this up over in the tea aisle or in the herb aisle this is the fat burning blend and so that's the base of this recipe so let me just tell you I started off by steeping a large bowl of tea. So I did this first. I steeped it or I infused the tea first. It comes loose. Uh, so you just put in a measure, whatever the measure is that you want, the instructions for the measure. Now that is in English. So I did what the instructions said here. And the instructions says for preparation, let me just kind of stretch my eyes, to obtain the optimal benefits of this herbal tea, add 13 grams or one third of this package uh, into a liter of boiling water uh, for approximately, approximately five to seven minutes. Let it stand and then strain the content. So that's exactly what I did. And I used that and so I strained it. Uh, however, when I strained, I still have some residue, uh, well, some herbs left in my container. But when I further strain my smoothie, it will be strained out of it. So now, let's get started with the bulk of this recipe. I will be using this spring spring mix of lettuce. If you can see that, pull that back just a little bit. The spring mix of lettuce, and in here there is um, romaine, green leaf lettuce, tango lettuce. Uh, green oak, radicchio, red oak, and uh, spinach, and red bok choy. That's approximately what's in here. And to that, I'm adding kale. So there is kale in here. Uh, let's see if you can see. There is kale, as you can see, in here as well. Uh, also, I am using uh, apple cider vinegar. I'll be using my raw, 100% raw honey, a pinch of uh, ground ginger, more than a pinch of cayenne pepper, and then my citrus I'll be using, I've already juiced this. This container has a whole one whole grapefruit, one whole orange, and one whole lemon. So that is the bulk of, that's the bulk of the recipe. Now let's get down to the vegetables. As you see here, I hope you can see this, I have a plate of vegetables. Here is um, extra lemon and here are my celery. Right here in this little spot here is mint. This right here is cilantro, carrots, and a half a beet. And this little thing, a uh, little scooper here, it has a half a teaspoon of spirulina. I think that's how you pronounce it. I will be making enough smoothie to put in this half gallon jar of which I drink two of these a day. So I drink about a gallon of green um, cup, Nutribullet cup. I'm putting the kale mixture and lettuce 
kale and lettuce mixture, just whatever it is that I want in there. Just shove that down in there. Just grab some cilantro and celery, two lemons, some mint, and broccoli. Now, I also, I mean not broccoli, but beets. I also said that I will be making uh, to, making enough to fill that large container. So I'll be doing this several times in order to get what it is that I need. All of the ingredients full together. Here is my red pepper, my cayenne pepper, and I'm just gonna shake enough in there that I decide that I want because I like it hot. That's why it's kicking. And then here is a pinch of ground ginger. Well, I made a mess. Yeah, that's my pinch. And I'm going to pour in my tea and fill it up to the max line. Now to this, I'm going to put the rest of the uh, powder in there because now I want to add my honey. Now what I do is once I get my batches pulled together, uh, then I'll re-blend all of it together, uh, all of the uh, ingredients together again. So here's my first batch. Put in some apple cider vinegar. I usually use about two caps full. One. Pour in the juice. Remaining fruit. Strain some of the pulp out of it. burning tea. Strain some of the pulp out. Now, I'm going to add the remainder of tea. to the mixture. Try it again. Now I'm going to pour this nasty looking brown drink back into this mix uh, into this Pyrex bowl to further strain it. I'm going to use my muslin material to strain the liquid. my material to strain any more pulp out of it and use it just like I would with my almond milk and express the juice through the material kind of like milking a cow it takes a while but I like this process I don't have a juicer now I'm going to pour the uh, 
this juice into this container to my mason jar, my half half gallon. Ooh, making a mess. Okay, now I'm going to strain the, the rest of the batch through my muslin cloth. Now, once all of the liquid has been expressed from the muslin through the muslin bag, you wind with uh, wind up with pulp inside the bag, and so I just kind of squeeze all the rest of the juice out as much as I can get out. And then this is what it looks like. You might not like what it looks like, but this is it. It kind of looks like a baby diaper. <laughs> but then you have your pulp on the inside of here, outside, inside your bag. It's better than a cheesecloth, but it is a lengthy process. Now I'm going to fill the remainder of the jug with the, uh, with the jug with the remainder of the liquid, the juice. extra left now it's time to taste it Well, this uh, Sophie's Kicking Mean Green is a miserable fail. I added cinnamon to it. It didn't help taste like cinnamon flavored dirt. Oh, this is a fail. So I got a half a gallon to drink. That's a lot of juice. I gotta drink this, regardless of how it tastes. It is not good. I'll have to try that formulation again. Take it from me. Not every smoothie is the best. <laughs> is the best tasting smoothie. I got a lot of drink uh, juice to drink. You guys be blessed. Smooches. Bye bye.